I've had a, a decade now that's been quite tumultuous. Shooting, two reconstructions, a 10-year battle for criminal compensation, a, uh, a, a, I had a focus on a finance degree that fell through. But now life is starting to become a little bit normal, a little bit routine. Oh, I can start to breathe easy. I'm good friends with this chap. He's now Sergeant Brett Price. He was the officer who was first on the scene. And he's actually a friend of my brother's. I went to Brisbane State High School together. It really is a small world. He has a really big heart, and he volunteers time for a charity. I'm introduced to the chairman of the charity, Mark Streeting. And he says to me, hey, Greeny, would you like to help us raise some money for Special Olympics? Yeah, yeah, sure, Mark. It, it's a good cause. I, I wouldn't mind. What do I need to do? Great, mate. Come climb this with us. <coughs> Kilimanjaro. It's an investment of time. It is halfway around the world in Tanzania. Energy, 5,895 metres. I'm going to have to get fit if I did that. And resources. You need expensive equipment and clothing just for this. What did I do? I jumped at the opportunity. Guess what? Routine gets boring. This was a chance to shake things up. It wasn't easy. No, it wasn't. It was a challenge. But guess what? When there's a challenge, out there is where the great rewards are. So I agree, and I train, I plan, and I commence the seven-day trek with Mark and 14 others. This is the... Uh, fourth day we're at, the, uh, at this particular campsite and we are 24 hours away from the midnight climb. The climb killy start at midnight so you can get up there when the sun rises. How am I feeling on this night? Tired, restless, excited? Mm, yeah, yeah. All, all of the above. But where did I spend that night? I spent most of that night here. 11 p.m. that night, I wake up in my tent. Mm! It's my dinner in my mouth. I'm struggling with the zip. Ugh, throwing up. I have just come down with food poisoning. And I am violently sick with vomiting and diarrhea. And it's pitch black and I have to get my torch out. I have to make my way over to the tent. And so this is going on. And out comes to help support me, the young Australian girl who's uh, the tour leader. Hey, Daryl, I'm just here, you know, helping support you, mate. I'll just wait here. It is deadly silent. And I'm making all these, you know, noises. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And I say to her, you know what? When you applied for this job, I bet this wasn't in the job description. <laughs> Daryl, funnily enough, it was. <laughs> hey, you either got to laugh or cry, and I'd rather laugh. 